So there's a way that you've been able to incorporate your farm to involve research, of which you mentioned research is also very important, but also there's an aspect of uh, demonstration where we get to transfer knowledge, for example, to farmers. So and it's something that you have done on your farm. Maybe you can also explain to us why you think that connection of research and demonstration is important and what are some of the things you've seen. Maybe the farmers who have visited your farm, the researchers who have come to your farm have been able to add to the knowledge transfer. Yeah, we started the research with vermicomposting. So that, that was really the, the start of our activities. Yeah. And later on, when, when we realized how important it would be for the soil, then, then we, we converted the farm to organic agriculture and we started to do research there also. And what uh, I was involved in in, lo in in a lot of different research projects. And every time uh, we finish a project, researchers as well as we as producers we say ah we should do that uh, much more often yeah. and we should cooperate much more much closer uh, because the benefits for for both stakeholders are are, are super important yeah and uh, and then i wanted to start a research farm so i wanted to provide the infrastructure of my farm and and of my company yeah. to research and to the scientific purpose and I decided to make a, a research farm. But then I realized, okay, there is a lot of research going on, yeah. uh, but there is not a lot of impact coming from research in practice. So mm -hmm. a lot of results never end up uh, at, at the farmer's level. And farmers are not, not really informed about the newest research. When I talk to colleagues, then they say, oh, I didn't know about this and I didn't know about that. Yeah. So it's only for enthusiastic guys that they are really involved uh, that they get this information. Yeah. So therefore I decided not only to make a research farm, but as well a demonstration farm also. And, and what we do now is we do not only uh, do conduct demonstration activities for yeah. our colleagues, for yeah. other farmers, but also for a whole society, for, for children, for students. So, so we try to demonstrate the work that we do or we try to demonstrate the research that we do yeah. to everyone. Yeah, so maybe you've seen some uh, improvements. So for example, when you invite, I'm assuming maybe you are inviting young people into the farm and they can come and demonstrate. So you've seen some traction um, in terms of people interested in organic farming or farming in general. Yeah, even uh, if they are only interested in food, uh, yeah. because they need food every day to to consume, uh, they they get more information on the farm, and and they, they they can start to understand how many different perspectives are involved, uh, how many different uh, things like uh, climate change or the loss of biodiversity, and how that is connected with. Uh, uh, how, how you can suppress the loss of biodiversity, for example, with organic farming yeah. and how, there's, how this is uh, also connected to the economy of the farm or even to societal problems like soil erosion, which, which cost a lot of money uh, mm. to the society yeah. at the end. And if you can prevent that and work together, then there are a lot of uh, um, benefits coming out yeah. and and therefore we are trying to have a, a more systemic approach so not look at one uh, specific uh, characteristic like yield yeah. but also at the same time see how we can at the same time when we produce something mm. how we can mitigate climate change how we can adapt to climate change how we can stop the loss of biodiversity yeah. while producing food